I am Paul Murta and we're here at the Avon Water with uh, the lovely Morgan Glen behind us. And I'm here with Anne Rankin from the Friends of Morgan Glen who's going to tell us all about the history and heritage of the area. John Morgan wanted a place safely uh, and quiet for his wife to walk. So he purchased this strip along the Avon Water. This cairn with the plaque was to let people know who John Morgan was and how it came to be given to the people of Larkhall. Morgan Glen is a really interesting place for the archaeology and heritage of this, this whole area. And it's interesting archaeologically, it's referred to as contemporary archaeology. Contemporary archaeology is uh, archaeology of the more recent past. Modern archaeology is, is becoming much more important uh, in the study of archaeology in the ar archaeological field. Oral histories are so important when we're uh, doing archaeology and history now to talk to people uh, like Anne about their memories of the place and the experiences they used to have in these places is, is completely unique. It's just a woodland area um, these days, but this area used to be the dance floor and uh, it was a rectangular shape. Here we had dressing rooms. On the Saturday, that was when you had the open air dances. Okay. On the Sunday afternoon, um, early evening, you had the pipe bands, the pipe band coming down and you had a concert. Great. Oral history is, is very, very good. I'm very keen on talking to people, getting their ideas about things and hearing their experience. And we get the scouts, we get the guides, and we let them know what, uh, what, what did happen down here. Because the grandparents, they would, um, they would use this. This is the largest viaduct in the whole of Scotland. It was designed by the Arrow Brothers for the Caledonian Railway, and it connected the railways from Lark Hall down to Stonehouse, and then off to Straven as well. One of the rites of passage was uh, to walk across the, the shut viaduct and the spray paint your name on top of it. It's obviously incredibly dangerous. A lot of people were, were killed, I think, doing it. And so it was, it was eventually closed off. I'm bringing somebody down and she hasn't been down here for years. A lot of people are afraid to come down here on their own. I'm not. And this was the Avon Bank bleach fields. Bleachfield. Also a, a chemical works. And there's still a, a number of features left of this site. Yeah. There's a large wall over there, which yes. is now someone's garden. Yes. But you can still see the mill laid coming down here. And that would have been used for extra power and extra water for the different industrial processes that they needed to use. The fabric was distributed worldwide. Really? It was. We want as many people as possible to know about the Glen of all ages and use it.